Hi, welcome to Naima Creates. I'm Naima and today I'm creating my February bullet journal because it is Black History Month. I thought that the movie I wanted to choose was of course Black Panther, what other? So to start off with, I decided to look at the Black Panther font that they were using. I know they created their own alphabet. So I went online on Google, quick Google search and found what the font looked like and then just mirrored that um, for both this um, different text at the top and then also for the regular, I guess, Latin characters at the bottom. As you saw, I did make a tiny error when I was doing my spacing, which is funny because I had penciled it out, but somehow it still didn't end up working out. Um, but I always use my trusty white gel pen to go ahead and cover everything up and uh, then it was no issue. Um, so I decided that I wanted to do a lot of that sort of um, African styled patterns that they tend to use. Uh, so I actually, during the end credits of the movie, there's a few different uh, patterns there. So I use some of those and some of them are also my own uh, creation, I guess, just from memory. Uh, so this one was definitely from the movies though, uh, which I thought was really cool how they uh, have this sort of modern tech kind of inspired version of things along with the traditional it's really cool, you'll see a lot of that. Um, so I just lined it across the top and the bottom. I used two different types of pens here just for the different thicknesses of the lines. Uh, and then afterwards I wanted to use uh, green and yellow as a regular color scheme. Uh, green, yellow, red is also a very popular color of course in a lot of the pan-African scene. Um, starting off here I ended up using the wrong colored marker because I did use yellow first but I wanted that area to be green but just as you can see here, easily colored over it. Um, that's the great thing about bullet journaling is that it doesn't really matter if you make a mistake because first of all, it's only you looking at it. It's not going on the wall anywhere. And second of all, you can always change it up and fix it up. Um, I did use purple for this one as well because if you look at Black Panther on his suit, whenever it gets charged up with kinetic energy, he has that purple lines that goes all the way through it. Uh, so I wanted to incorporate a bit of that to keep to the, to the Black Panther theme. So for my habit trackers, I decided to also continue with those patterns, uh, and each little triangle there, as I go through the month and as I, uh, complete each habit for that day, then I'll just go ahead and color it in. Uh, so some of the habits that I've been tracking are flossing, or tidying up my space. Uh, so you'll see I add in that wording afterwards. But I did just make sure to go ahead and number all of the triangles from 1 to 28. Thankfully, that was you know, a small month and it has even numbers, so it was pretty easy to uh, organize everything and calculate how many spaces I wanted. And then I just added a little title at the end there. And once again, I wanted to tie everything in so that everything is sort of in sync with the theme and I used that same light purple color from the previous page to add spacing in between because I thought it might get a little bit confusing trying to decipher between each one. I did use the thick lines in between them but just to uh, add a bit more clarity. Um, then I extended it further off the paper so that it would uh, be even more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so on this side of the page I wanted to draw uh, one of the Dora Milaje. Uh, for this one I used a picture of, I believe it's Ao, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, although I added on the head tattoos that Okoye has, but you know. So I'd recommend when you're drawing a picture like this definitely have the image up. So I just had it up on my phone screen propped up and I was just copying along with it. Um, I looked at when you're drawing anything from a picture, it's easier if you break it down into parts. So first I was like, okay, where is the midway point, right? And I saw the midway point is right on the belt, right? And then the top of the head. So that helped just to start sketching things out. Um, and then just going from there, okay, how far down is the waist belt? How far up is the spear? Where are the arms located? You know, so... That helped, and especially because, uh, I mean, their outfits look intricate, but it's just 
breaking it down to simple shapes. So right there you see it's a rectangle, right? The leg is another rectangle. The uh, circle on the belt, I mean, it's a circle, right? Uh, so that kind of helps. And because, once again, it's just myself looking at it and it's just a quick little sketch, um, I don't have to worry about it needing to be exactly perfect. Otherwise, you know, my page is ruined. No, nothing like that. Um, and I did sort of change it up as I was going through and going back over it with the black marker compared to what I do with the pencil sketch. That's why I did the rest of the body first because I felt like the head was a bit too small. So I did uh, change it up a little bit afterwards. And the positioning of this person, I mean, she's kind of standing at a bit of an angle. So it makes some of the uh, measurements a bit trickier for me just because I'm not usually someone who draws uh, people as much. I'd rather draw animals or landscapes, things in nature. But, you know, we are part of nature too. Um, so the quote I chose for this month is, just because something works doesn't mean it can't be improved, which of course is said by Shuri. Uh, and I thought that was just a little bit of inspiration and motivation to go through February uh, to remember that basically just to not be sitting around and just be like, ah, everything's fine. It's like, no, everything may be fine, but let's see what we can do even better, right? And I understand that she wouldn't be wearing this particular outfit, but, you know, I just wanted to do what I wanted to do, so don't judge me, okay? For coloring her in, I used my watercolor uh, pencil pencils. You can also just use regular pencil crayons. Um, you could even use a marker just because of the way that it is. It's not like a large space that you're trying to color in, which would make it a little bit more frustrating because, uh, you know, you have all the streakiness. But because each section is pretty small, I don't think you'd have to deal with that too much um but yeah these were just handy so i decided to go with that and i love the look of it once you add the water to it how much more vibrant the color becomes which is great uh, then i went back in with my little micron pencil here and added in a bit more uh, detailing and shadows just on the shoulder pads and then underneath the um the skirt part um, and i realized that the color that i chose was a little bit too much on the pink side, so I went back in with a bit of a deeper red just to try to match um, what's actually there in the film. Uh, I thought the page was a little bit bland, so I added in uh, a light blue color in behind. I don't know if it's coming up super well on camera or not, but I added a light blue um, all around the edges uh, as a bit of framing. Um, then I made sure that that was all dry before I turned the page. So. I, on this page, I skipped over just because, once again, I wanted to make sure everything was fully dry before I started putting pressure on the previous page. So I jumped over, and also because this one is easier to do, to my income and budget page. So along the top, I added the necklace, like the Black Panther necklace, uh, and then I just wrote out my little squares here for the information I wanted to track. So starting off with my income, so all the jobs that I have, what I'm estimating I'm going to get, what I finally do actually make at the end of the month, fixed expenses, things like uh, rent or your cell phone bill, which is not going to change, variable expenses, things like food or transit, depending on how your transit works, right? And finally, owing, that's where I'll put, you know, the credit card, how much money do I have left to pay on it, whatnot, right? Um, I added a space at the bottom for my groceries, anything I need to buy, and then just above it, any notes. So maybe I'll write a note like, hey, I paid $200 off of this card, now I have this much left to pay on it before the next paycheck, something like that. So whatever works for you, I recommend doing it this way. And then of course, next month, if you decide that you wanna change it up, you're more than welcome and free to do that, which is the beauty of bullet journaling. It just gives you that freedom to do whatever uh, you want. Um, so for this, I wanted to draw the crown that that queen was wearing, Miss Angela Bassett always a stunner um so as you saw i just sort of drew this kind of uh, bloom shape i guess and added the semicircle up top i decided at the end because i once again i had to look back at a picture because at first i was just going from memory and i realized that the circle actually comes all the way around so to give it a bit more of that 3d effect i did make sure it went around and looking i saw that they had the little triangle shapes at the bottom 
the lines going up and then the crisscross lines um, going all the way up the shape of the crown. And then I added in a little bit of hatching, so just shading in the opposite direction of where the lines were going, and, and some even in the same direction, just to give it a bit more uh, of that 3D effect so you can really get a sense of the crown. Um, and that, as you can see, was super easy. It just took a little bit of time, so you just have to be patient. I wanted to do the dream sequence, and I know that the way that they kind of had it was almost as if it was like the northern lights. Um, and I think I should have made this tree a bit more of a, a dark blue instead of just black with the green foliage, but hey, it all worked out. I know what it is. And that page is for my thoughts. So any thoughts that I have, any random notes I want to jot down, I'll just add those in onto the top of that page. So now we finally get to the weekly spread. Uh, so I just do my standard format. I always do calendar at the top and then the highlights down the side where I'm going to put the, uh, the day of the week. And then I decided to just make a little border strip going down. I thought that would be pretty simple to replicate um, in the weeks ahead. So, uh, and it would look really cool and it would still go with my whole Black Panther, Black History Month vibe that I wanted to touch on. Uh, so I went ahead and added back in those tra traditional colors, the green, red, yellow, and of course everything around it is black. Yellow is added in the middle there, I don't know if you can quite see it, but yeah. And then I added a dash of red at the end. So here's the final flip through. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again at the next video. Bye!